Hi, it's Nick Shell, the internet receding hairline guy. As you can tell, it's raining today. So, it's probably going to be easier to hear and see me, really. Uh, so, what's today? It's uh, May 20th. So that means, what, five months? Since December 20th? Yeah, five months ago. Today was the last time I shaved my head at a number one. So, every month I always talk about, well, here's how many, here's what your hair looks like after so many months of growing it out. So, as you know, a couple times I've had the back uh, trimmed up, but I haven't touched the top yet at all, not even to like trim the dead ends or anything off. So this is how the top looks after five uh, months, exactly to the day, since I last shaved it at a number one. So, if you buzz off your hair to a number one, after five months, your hair can look like mine, if you have a hairline like mine. Uh, Obviously, the whole concept is these videos, receding hairline, uh, that whole thing going on. So, uh, this is just to kind of give you an idea because my whole thing is that, hey, if you want to shave off your hair because you have a receding hairline, do it. If that's what makes you feel good. And it made me feel good. I was happy I did it. But I'm also happy I grew my hair out while I still got have hair. I'm 35, so, uh, you know, the, the clock's ticking. Well, I still have uh, enough hair to even have a real haircut at age 40. I don't know. We'll see. Now, another thing I'll point out is... Uh, I've got some feedback. Uh, you guys are liking the beard and are asking me to keep the beard going. And uh, and then eventually, before I shave it off, have just a goatee and then a mustache and all that. So, yeah, I don't have a problem with it. I can do that. Um, the one of the requests said, will you, sh will you uh, grow the beard out for, for four weeks? You know, this Sunday makes two whole weeks. So, th so it hasn't even been two weeks yet. Uh, but yeah, I mean, two more weeks shouldn't be a problem. Um, like I said, life's still kind of crazy. We have a newborn in our house, so not shaving totally makes sense. So it's been a long time since I've had a beard that long. So let's see what happens if I just grow up my beard for, what, about a month, really? Four, four weeks to a month. So that's the plans. That's what's going on. But again, the name of this video, I guess, is uh, five months after shaving off all my hair. Uh, and of course, just coincidentally, I happen to have a beard that's about, I don't know, like, is it 10 days, 11 days? In closing, this is why I don't grow my beard out. You can totally tell. Another video when I was outside, I think it was enough, enough sunlight to hide the fact that, remember, I'm 35 years old. So, when you're like 27, you're thinking, oh man, that's weird. I've got some blonde and then red hair in my beard. Well, you heard it first from me. That's the first sign that it's going to go gray. This turned gray about, about the time I, I guess, turned 30 or 31. Maybe 32. A couple years ago. And then all of a sudden it was just gray. Yeah, I'd say three years ago. So I'm 35. So 32. Uh, so you've got a couple years of it turning different colors like red and orange and yellow. Or, and even like a, a platinum blonde color. And then it just goes white. So that's why I don't grow out a beard just because because I know that's there and I'm like well why expose gray hair if I don't have to ultimately the answer today is I feel like it I feel like uh, having a beard and uh, I'm getting the support the people like the beard so I guess we're gonna keep doing this beard thing for a little bit longer and of course I did I did shave underneath again today I'm very articulate with my my uh, jawline or beard line or whatever that's called I'm very specific about that uh, I can't stand it when, I shouldn't say I can't stand it because what do I care about other guys' beards? I don't care at all about other guys' beards. But I would never want a beard that's like cut right on the jawline where it's almost like painted on like a woman who, you know, puts on orange makeup and then it's just, you can tell it's, I want them to come below the jawline like that. That's how I do my beard. I think it looks better all around. So every couple days I am cleaning that part up so that it's a perfect roundness to match my jaw like that. So I've, I've got this under here, but I just don't have the neck thing. And I don't have it straight across. It is rounded perfectly. And I look in a mirror to, to do that just right. So hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, probably easier to hear and see me today. So if uh, five months, five months of hair, we're looking at about two inches long. Here's what's funny. I guess I'll close with this. So just pulling this down, I mean, that goes nearly to my eyebrow. Well, not really to my eyebrows, but I mean, that's where it goes. I'm pulling it straight. Look at that. 
So that's what five months will, will get me at least. And of course, that's bringing it down from the lowest part of my hairline right there. Uh, but I just kind of keep my hair messy so it's not like I'm keeping it down anyway. So one final look, five months after shaving my hair off to a number one. Nick Shell, the internet receding hairline guy.